In December of 2007, a ton of liquid asphalt was $175. We're getting quotes at over $1,000 a ton now. Asphalt has gone up so much because it's petroleum-based, I don't believe we're going to have the ability to build asphalt roads in 50 years. What we're proposing is a road that pays for itself over its lifespan. Not only pay for itself, but provide a, a whole slew of new features. Welcome to Solar Roadways. There's 25,000 square miles of road surfaces, parking lots, and driveways in the lower 48 states. If we covered that with solar panels as just a 15% efficiency, we produce three times more electricity than this country uses on an annual basis. And that's almost enough to power the entire world. Roads are collecting heat anyways, this thing collects the power and stores it. Your whole road is an electric grid that delivers the power right to your front door along with cable TV, high-speed internet access, your telephone, everything right there. The technology behind it has already been done to death. I'm just taking a lot of different technologies, making something new out of it. The one thing that hasn't been done is driving on glass. It's got to have the same traction as asphalt, has to be strong enough to support a fully loaded semi-truck, locking them up at 80 miles an hour, shatterproof, fireproof, transparent enough to allow the sunlight through but not to allow the glare back into the driver's eyes, all these specs. The idea of making a road out of glass is really out of the box thinking because most people, when you mention the word glass, all they can think about is its fragility and ability to fracture. In fact, glass can have as high a strength as steel. We know how to manufacture glass. We know what photovoltaics are. We know what we have to do to protect glass from damage. We know what it takes to lower manufacturing costs. The research that's really needed has more to do with adapting glass for this particular application. A solicitation came out from the U.S. Department of Transportation for an intelligent pavement that could generate power and pay for itself. And so we applied for it. That gave us the funds to actually build a prototype. We purchased parts to build a 12 foot by 12 foot full size solar road panel. And our solar road panel has a 32 by 32 array of individual electronic modules. Each of these have LEDs, three white and three yellow. We milled some traces on these for the cables. So our cables are coming in and they feed the electronics modules. We're sending commands to the microprocessor wirelessly. The microprocessor determines which of the LEDs are lit up. And we can spell words this way. There's a total of 6,072 LEDs in the prototype. So we can spell just about anything we want in there. In addition, we built a three foot by three foot panel with a frame around it. And we call this our crosswalk panel. There are load cells in here, and it's a weight machine basically. If you're driving at night and you're daydreaming or something and somebody steps off in dark clothing onto a crosswalk in front of you, that crosswalk starts to flash, the road in front of you starts to flash, it gets your attention and tells you to slow down. What we've learned, your LEDs are recessed into the road. If you stand pretty far off from it, you can't see those LEDs anymore. So what we've discovered is we can actually put it inside the glass layer on top. What we'll do later is fill the interior with a cold curing laminate. And in that way, they're sandwiched in a hermetically sealed environment so that moisture won't get at them. We want to pull the garbage out of landfills and out of the ocean. We take that trash, we turn it into little pellets, we mix that with organic material to make the internal support structure for our solar panels. There are engineering degrees out there they didn't have when I went through, environmental engineering degrees. And a whole generation of new engineers coming up wanting to spend their careers working on the environment. I think that's fantastic. You realize that everything that your ancestors did affects us today. And everything we're doing now is going to affect generation after generation who are going to come after us. We can't keep building asphalt roads, doing the same thing we've been doing since Eisenhower opened the federal highway system in the 1950s. It's an antiquated system we've been using for far too long. It's time to move on. We can make better roads. We can make an intelligent electric roads which enable all electric vehicles. Let's move on, put fossil fuels behind us and move into the 21st century. So which of you is the uh, better solar roadway assistant? No, that it, it comes with height, so obviously the taller it comes with beauty. Well, I'm taller, I'm closer to the sun, so the beauty here. Yeah. I gotta give him on the beauty, he's a good looking guy. <laughs> I'll give him that. Have you seen something really profound here? That's the most <laughs> profound thing you can think of right now duct tape. <laughs> <laughs>